All right, we are at 9 January, uh, what year, 2024, and we are in the week of the Bitcoin ETF approval. It should happen, what is today, Tuesday? They're thinking tomorrow. And once one of these ETF, Bitcoin ETFs, get approved, the SEC will uh, have to maybe also, you never know, <laughs> approve the other Bitcoin ETFs because they cannot be seen as playing favorites, as being kingmakers in the Bitcoin ETF space. And also we have the old politicians, the people that care more about their image and their money and their pocketbooks and themselves than the people that voted them in office. Uh, they are interested in these Bitcoin ETFs as well. So now it gets a little political, uh, what do you call it, what's their political? So that makes you think, you know, it's all about money, who you know, and, and pressure and political power. Uh, no one ever does the right thing for the being the right thing. So just sit back this week and enjoy. Are you buying Bitcoin or what are you doing? I mean, is the price already factored in to the uh, to the um, ETF approvals? And the uh, also we have the uh, Bitcoin halving on 430, April 30th, around that time frame. So anyway, let's look real quick. 46,800 today. Bitcoin did break 47,000, which was amazing and uh, pretty pretty cool to see that just jump up as of uh, probably around 12 to 1 o'clock Eastern time yesterday, right on the hour, guys. I mean, there's obviously some software involved, some algorithms at play here that just, boom, kick off the volume, kick off the purchasing and drive the price up. It's just too much a coinking dink to be a coinking dink. But yeah, we're peasants. Best thing you can do is predict Take the risk you want to take the risk. It's all for entertainment. You know, as we always say, it could go up. It could go down. You could lose everything, right? It could go sideways where you don't make anything. And you could um, um, do nothing at all, you know? Yeah. Anyway, so we got Bitcoin 46.8. Here is a funny article. Let's jump into it. The old Jim Cramer, the clown world, the clown of the clown world of the mainstream financial news the propaganda machine we have, Jimmy Kramer. Jimmy Kramer, this clown man. They must have photos of this guy because he just is a total fool. Uh, Jim Kramer now says Bitcoin is topping out. And I like that the, uh, the coin desk actually put this subtitle here. But first, but first, we need the cursor of truth. Whenever we're doing Jimmy Kramer, we need the cursor of truth. Here it comes, guys. Boom. Look at that, right over his big fat head. All right, we got uh, Kramer's picks have the tendency to move in the opposite direction that he touts. And this is by Shalria Marwa. Shalria, Shalria, that's a hard word to say. Shalria, Shalria Marwa. All right, this is what, January 9th today at 2.29 Eastern. Why is that going to be? Oh, this guy was up at 2, 3 in the, 2 30 in the morning writing this thing or publishing it. Yeah, must be overseas. All right, let's go. Uh, there is a thing called the Kramer Inverse uh, Index, and it's by, I think, Quantitative Analysis or something. They made an index fund based on the opposite of everything Kramer pushes on his propaganda machine. And uh, if you follow it, you're up bigly. You're up hugely if you do the opposite of what Kramer uh, basically says you should do whenever he says uh, like this if Bitcoin is topping out it's like this thing says there's a tendency that oh it's going to do the opposite and then it's going to keep going higher so that is the Kramer reverse index the uh, C R I <laughs> this guy's a joke man um, but, but he's making big money but at what price he probably sold his soul to be the clown world in the clown world with the CB, CNBC clowns. Anyway, a signal historically associated with inverse bets may spell good days ahead for Bitcoin bulls as investors in the world lodges crypto away to key regulatory for an exchange traded fund ETF product in the US. We're waiting this week, guys. We're waiting this week for that ETF approval. Uh, yeah, Kramer, a former hedge fund manager, oh dear God, and a host of uh, the, I don't want to say, Host of the Clown Show affirmed in a TV segment Monday that Bitcoin was topping out just days after 
after he claimed Bitcoin was here to say the guy's a joke, man. The guy's just told what to say. He's given a script and uh, there's players behind him. Let's use this little puppet. <laughs> I'm going to tell people what to say. And people that waste their time, who watches CNBC? Who watches network news? If you do, you have basically no brain cells. Oh my God, do your critical thinking skills. Do not watch mainstream news, cable news, anything on the cable mainstream. Don't, it'll just rot your brain. All right, let's stop fooling around. You want Bitcoin, buy Bitcoin. But, but I think Bitcoin is topping out, said Mick Kramer. Bitcoin added as much as 8% on Monday before giving back some gains. It, it topped 8%, and it only went down a little bit, like 8%. 1%, I mean, 8, meaning 1. Reaching as high as 47,100. We see it's at, uh, let's see, 46,000. 839 come on Ooh, that really gave back a lot big deal uh monday before giving back some gains and uh for the first time since april 2021 oh my god swan media jim kramer alert i think bitcoin is topping out everyone knows this guy is a freaking joke he's the gift that keeps on giving what a mess man oh my god i mean maybe that's the irony is that they call it this stupid money mad money because the guy's insane he just needs his office meds or something's really messed up with this dude. But they let him go. There's obviously a reason behind him. There's someone controlling him, someone telling him what to say. It's just bizarre. But if you do the opposite, you're probably going to do all right. That is not financial advice, but there is a reverse index. Look up the Kramer reverse index and you'll, you'll see, uh, you'll, you will see what I'm talking about. All right, let's see. The Bill Kramer picks have the tendency to move in the opposite direction. A meme that has even sparked. Here it is. The creation of an inverse Kramer ETF. The instrument is designed for exclusively sh uh, shorting assets mentioned by the personality on his dumb show. As such, Kramer has been generally bearish on Bitcoin in the past years. <laughs> oh my God. In early October, amid the uh, blah, 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 the uh, Sam Bankman feed. How many names does this idiot have? Uh, he said, Mr. Bitcoin is about to. Uh, Mr. Bitcoin about to go down big. Probably that Kramer said he has uh, sold most of his Bitcoin holdings in 21 after the uh, China mining crackdown. I don't even know if this dude even knew how to buy. I don't see this guy going anywhere and buying Bitcoin. To go on an exchange like like crappy Coinbase and uh, buying Bitcoin and holding, he doesn't know how to do that. And putting it into his own wallet. Come on, he's just talking. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is it. What a dumb little art. Wait, this clown wrote. Th is that all you wrote? This guy wrote. One, two, three, five baby paragraphs at 1.30 in the morning, Eastern time. And he pushes it out there and gets paid for it. Guys, if you're sweating at your job and you're working too hard for, for uh, not much money, freaking do this. Get in the good old boy writing club. Look at this guy. And he pumped this stupid article out on Coindesk. I wonder what he got paid for it. Oh, my God. Yeah. Work smart, not hard. That's the way I look at it. <clears throat> all right, that's all I got. We got the reverse camera. Quick update on the CPU mining. It's up a bit. It was up to six bucks, not 10 minutes ago. Damn thing just dropped a little bit. But anyway, we're holding about that price. Let's click, 